do you explain how the uh, the defense has been taking the way taking away the ball so many times here in the last two days? Uh, I mean, with just the bad tasting in our mouth that we was left with, you know, with playing in the Super Bowl and losing that big game. Um, you know, we just got a, a chip on our shoulder, and you know, uh, we ready to ready to get back to it. Demo, you got a room full of really young, talented guys. Do you, do you sense that momentum? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, every guy in the room is good. I, I feel like this is the best. As me being here, you know, since my rookie year, um, this is the best collective group that we had have had since our rookie year. I, I believe myself. Last year at this time, you're talking about some of the steps you want to take forward in terms of you know playing the deep ball better, things like that. How, how do you feel like you were able to maybe take your game to another level last year? Uh, we're just building confidence, repetition, and just the experience. You know, uh, just I, I feel like that played a part. You know, with me just being out there, getting getting time to learn, and you know, knowing what positions, what angles to take to uh, make plays on the ball. I feel like uh, last year was a, a big step for me. You don't have any pick sixes in your career does a day like today uh, kind of put that out there that that's something that you know you want to get in the end zone and you're taking steps toward getting in the end zone this year oh yeah yeah for sure I mean I told I told Snyder you know um, he gonna want me as a return man if I uh, if I get my hands on the ball this year because I'm, I'm taking it to the zone and I'm not letting up this year Fred Warner was, was talking or, or last season about how rare it was that a corner played inside and outside as well as you did at both of them. And he was even real top outside corners don't do that very often. Go go inside, but you seem to be so seamless at it. What do you think it what do you think about your skill set enables you to do that? Uh, I really just believe it's the mindset. You know, um some guys is wired different. Um and I believe I'm I'm one of them guys. You know, uh I always put the challenge on myself. You know, I'll never point fingers. You know, I take Take my my L's as a man and turn them in, turn them into lessons. When did you tell Snyder that? Uh, this was I told him this last year, but then I didn't fulfill the promise. So this year is is gonna carry over. When you talk about going back and forth inside now, was there a point where you felt super comfortable doing both? Like, did you have were you thinking through things initially, and did you reach a point where it's real natural? Um, I would say my comfortability game was probably. The Eagles game, you know, um, uh, we we played we played a lot of man coverage that game. Um, we got towards the end of the game, we was like in the red zone, and I had gave up a catch uh, to Devontae Smith um, on like the scramble drill, and I felt like me giving up that catch, I was I was more irritated than anything, not even at the call, but just at myself because I know I'm better than that, um, and that that would led into the hit, you know. Um, and just after that, I just felt like I belong, you know, with playing both. Like that was that was my comfortability. That's just who I am. You're talking the regular season game. Yes, yes. Probably gave you confidence to the whole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that that was just. Um, I felt like that was just me making a statement, you know, uh, with just in the playoffs being able to do it at the highest level. Um, I felt like that was just you know me getting my feet wet and then. The next year was, you know, my takeoff. A couple more for Demo. Demo, did you work at the at the Mamba at the Mamba Center again this year? And, and what did you do this off season? Oh yeah, I work. Well, I didn't work out there. I worked out at like Era Performance in Newport. Um, shout out to them. You know, with just getting me strong and uh, fast and explosive. Um, I feel like they they part of this. You know, uh, well this journey that we we about to go on. You've been working with Brandon Staley for the first time. You, He's working with you one-on-one -on -one a lot. What's your impression of him so far? Oh, he's a genius. Um, I really, uh, really respect him, you know, as a coach, as a um, as a person, you know, um, the the joy he brings to our room and with just the knowledge, you know, of teaching us so many things, you know, it's, it's a blessing to have him there. Is there something specific that you've learned from him that you're just like, wow, I never thought of this like that before or something? Uh, playing the angles, playing the angles of football, and uh, playing the percentages. You know, he kind of told me like the percentages of you getting a fade every down is not is less likely. So why would you play that? You know, with the start of the downs. You know, uh, actually think when you out there. You know, you already got the talent. Just you know, use your brain and and the plays will come. All right, thanks. Steve. Appreciate you. <laughs>
crazy. Unfortunately, I think that guy got like 30 people. I, I saw another, um, another like local media guy had the same thing. Uh, what's his name? Akash? Yeah. Is it true that yesterday was your first Veterans Day off ever? It's my first one. It only took 12 years. <laughs> but I embraced it. Is it strange? A little bit, yeah. I, uh, I, had, to, I had to ask Christian for tips. He, he's, uh, he's well versed in them. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was something Kyle and I had, had talked about um, before training camp about mixing a few in this year. And, um, you know, I think it was, it was good for me. I felt fresh today. Brian Schneider was just in here talking about kick return stuff. We've seen you and, and Debo kind of working together. Yeah. Uh, what's your What's your take on just kind of the, the new rule and maybe yeah. your in, in interest in being involved in that? Yeah, I think it's it's super interesting. And um, just my gut feeling is that I think it's going to be like a, a much bigger play than a lot of people anticipate. Um, there's like some real opportunities for big plays. And um, I think... I think I could I could help in that. I think Debo could definitely help in that. I think we could be a good uh, combo back there because um, there's a lot of moving parts and uh, there there has to be kind of a natural feel for those returners back there. Um, and and sometimes it's just you know things that you just have to be able to play off each other well. And I think we do that good. Um, but I'm I'm really excited. I think this could be uh, a really big deal and um, could really change field position about a natural feel is there an element of just like it feels like an offensive play particularly with you and Debo where you it really is a lot it's it's basically a, a wide zone play once you get the ball in your hands um but I think that's going to be one of the hardest things is, is getting the ball in your hands I think it's going to be kind of a, a game of keep away I think the um the kickers are really going to try and mix it up with different balls and make it hard to field and all that kind of stuff but once you get that ball um it's really like a wide zone where you know you're you're pressing your gap and and cutting off of uh, people and um, yeah I do kind of see it like an offensive play. As far as days off, do you and you know the team in general have to look ahead to January and you know possibly playing deep into January and are you sort of looking at that now and sort of kind of gauging where you'll be? Right, or, right. Um, like, like, yes and no. Like, um, I'm not necessarily like thinking specifically about January and all that, but I, I do think we're all very conscious and more aware of how long of a season it is, um, and how long of seasons has been for us the last, you know, four or five years. And you do need to like think about that now in in pacing yourself. It's so um, like like yesterday, you know, it's our first day in pads and. I'm like, even it's my off day, but I'm like, I'm itching to get out there because you're just natural competitors, you're football players, like first day of pads is like a kind of a ceremonious day. But you got to remind yourself like, all right, this, me going out and proving myself here on the first day of pads, what, what, what are we doing? Like that just, that's not the goal. The goal is to be healthy throughout the season um, and deep into the season. And so, you know, managing those reps early on will help that down the road. When you look back at last season, is there any thought that the way that you began the playoffs, which I think everybody agrees wasn't quite your peak against Green Bay and early on against the Lions, did that have anything to, to do with season-long fatigue, or was it the Week 17 game? Or I don't know, honestly. I don't. I don't. There's. Uh, it's tough to say. Um, yeah, because we, you know, we kind of had that Week 17 where not everybody played, and we had a bye week. Um, but you're always you're always juggling health versus rhythm, and you know what to do in those scenarios. But I think um, you guys can tell me for sure. But I think the math would say that health and like people who have that bye week typically, uh, the math has said that they're they have a better chance of making the Super Bowl. So I think it's smart to to rest guys and and have them healthy. Um, but you know you're always playing that game of rhythm versus freshness. You were pretty uh, eloquent, I thought, after the Super Bowl, talking in the immediate aftermath about the need to come back and try again. And uh, then you go through a, a, an offseason that has a contract thing that couldn't have been real fun for you to go through, yeah. while other guys are cashing in the opposite direction in terms of money. What, 
What was your thought process in, in putting all that together and coming back? Yeah, um, I had a lot of thoughts, and, and, and it, it, it changed as the days went on. Um, you know, obviously, like, I wasn't too happy when I was first presented with that. Um, but it's one of those things that you kind of have to work through it. And at the end of the day, like, I, I, I feel like I have the best opportunity in the world to, to play here for the Niners. And, um, and I do think that I'm still, I'm being, I'm being taken care of, um, you know, in, in a good way as, as a fullback on this team. And, um, I am, I am happy with my role and, uh, yeah, like, you know, my ego took some shots, but at the end of the day, um, I want to be on a team that all these superstars are getting paid that my, this, you know, more money because that means they did something pretty good the year before. And, um, I, I feel a part of that. So, uh, all in all, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy to be on this team and, um, have another opportunity to go win a Super Bowl. Does it feel like business issues are sort of hanging over this team in a way that it hasn't in the past seven years? No, just because I feel like every year there's kind of been someone in that position. Um, so it, honestly, I feel kind of well versed in it. Um, and it's, it really is something that like in the locker room, uh, we, we don't take personally and um, we understand like, you know, guys go through that stuff and um, a lot of guys have gone through it ourselves. So uh, I think there's a good understanding in the locker room of it. When, when um, you know, Brock had four of his final five passes intercepted today, the one he did it was to you. But yeah. the, what's his demeanor like? And Because this is camp where you should try to fit things into windows. Does he dismiss it? Does, he, does that competitive rage come out of him? It just seems like he understands his camp. That it's yeah. Um, quite honestly, I didn't really observe him after that. So I, I can't say exactly um but just kind of going off of just brock you know in the the three years that i've been with him that um i mean he's a super competitive guy and he expects a lot of himself um but he always seems to handle those things well you know he he's not throwing a temper tantrum or anything like that uh but he's still hard on himself and uh and he generally stays pretty positive so um i didn't see him exactly but that's what i'd expect what do you think of the new guys in the room with taylor and uh, garendo and schrader been impressed. Been really impressed with those guys. Um, I think we have a really special running back room. I quite honestly, I, I think this is the best running back room I've ever been in, um, from top to bottom. I think we got some really good players, and um, been particularly impressed with Cody Schrader. He's uh, works his absolute tail off. He's very intelligent. Um, and he goes out there and um, just plays a good, consistent, clean game, and um, we've really enjoyed uh, having him. But. Uh, all those guys uh, have been impressive. They're all very smart, um, do things the right way, and uh, I, I love our room. It was, little, it was a little tough day for Brock, but it's really his first off season, being in training camp with getting all the reps. Where do you see him compared to what he was like last year? Yeah, um, I, I just I, I think I've seen improvement. Even you know if 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 he uh, had a few picks today, in general, I feel like Brock um, has has improved. Uh, you know the, the confidence seems to be there more. The the arm strength seems to be there a little bit more. I think um, you know putting the pads on the pad the pass rush starts to get a little more real. So it may take a day or two to adjust. But I'm not here to make excuses for Brock. So he, I'll, I'm sure he'll speak on that. But uh, um, I I expect only good things from him. Yep. Thanks, guys.